Hey everyone, I've got my hands on the beta version of Luminar Neo's latest update 1.2.0, which includes the HDR merge extension and the dodge and burn tool. Now keep in mind this is the beta version, so anything you see here could change upon the release on July 28th. Now you're going to notice on the top left here this little puzzle piece, and that's how you'll be able to install HDR Merge. So if I were to click on it, you'll get this dialog box, and as you see here, mine is already installed, but you would click on that, enter your activation code, and HDR Merge will be installed in Luminar Neo. And the way it works is fairly simple. We just select the images that we want to merge. You can drag and drop them into the area here. And you'll see it displays the exposure values here. Let's click on the settings icon here. It has the option to auto align just in case, you know, maybe you're hand holding or there's slight movement in the image. And ghost reduction is for moving objects like moving water, cars, people, that sort of thing. And then you have your options for your reference image. So if I click on the drop down here, you see I've got the two images here and I can select either one as a reference. And the amount options you have low, medium, high, and highest. Underneath that, you can remove all the images. So let's go ahead, click merge and see what happens. So here we have the image. And before we look at the image itself, if we look at the left panel here, in your folder section, you'll see a folder called HDR Merge. And here we have the HDR image that was just processed. Other than the extension we just looked at, everything else is pretty much the same. If we look at Aurora HDR just for a second here, one of the things you're gonna notice is that in Aurora HDR, you had presets built in and you were able to click one of these where you could simply increase or decrease the slider in terms of how much of the preset you want to see on the image. At this point, that's not gonna be available in Neo, but they are considering ways to have that option available to us in a future update. Consider this a first step into the world of extensions and plugins for Luminar Neo. Also in the beta version and probably most likely in the release version, there won't be any built-in HDR presets, but they are selling HDR preset packs currently and as far as I know, more will be developed. If we take a look at the controls for Aurora HDR, a lot of the options that we had in Aurora HDR are built into Neo already. So HDR basic is like the develop section. There is a color section. Enhance, we have enhance AI, HDR denoise, we already have denoise. So you get my point. A lot of the controls, except for a few exceptions, are already in Neo. Now, in terms of pricing, owners of Luminar Neo plus Aurora HDR 2019 will receive the extension for free. Also, if you're a Luminar Neo subscription member, you will also get the extension for free. If you are a Luminar Neo lifetime member, meaning the one-time payment, there will be a fee for $49.99 US. If you are an Aurora HDR 2019 standalone user, you will have to purchase Luminar Neo at a loyalty discounted price. I still don't have that price currently at the time of recording this, but when I do find out, I'll leave it in the description below. Now for Aurora 2018 users, standalone or with Luminar Neo, I encourage you to contact Skylim support. I hear from other threads and other channels that they are offering some sort of loyalty discount as well. I can't confirm this at that time, so I'll leave those details in the description below once I find out. Now the next update has been long awaited and that is the dodge and burn tool. So let me close these sections here and we'll go into the professional section. We'll find dodge and burn, hallelujah. <laughs> now I'm not gonna go too much in depth on the dodge and burn tool. Basically it's a tool to help lighten and darken certain areas in your images. So in this example, I'm just gonna lighten up the undersides of our eyes here just a tad and the side of the nose. If I do a quick before and after, 
You see, it just lifts those shadows even more. And the opposite result you get with Darken. So it's definitely a welcome update for many of us. Now, as I said before, keep in mind, this is the first iteration of Skylam's attempt to extensions. And I look forward to seeing what else they develop in the coming future. And of course, I do want to mention that with these current times and the challenges they're having, it's still amazing to think that they're pushing forward and bringing us updates on a fairly consistent basis almost every month I would say. As always let me know in the comments below what you think about HDR merge and having the dodge and burn tool. In the meantime if you're new to Luminar Neo and you want to try out some masking techniques I got a couple videos that you can check out right here but until the next video my friends I'll see you when I see you.